Casting. Yeah. That's my point. Casting of the kids was, um, the not kids, sorry, um, of the young men was uh, was interesting because we did open castings in Dublin um, looking for guys in and around the age and, and we didn't find anybody and then my friend Jason O'Mara who's an actor um, was shooting a film in South Africa and he said that there was a young guy down there with him who was really impressive so Jason got Fionn, who, the red hair who plays Ned, he got Fionn to put himself on tape and when I saw the tape it was just immediately, one thing like, more than anything else was he had prepared like so well, like it was perfect in, in those terms. <coughs> so. He came to Dublin after he finished the shoot, and uh, we ran some scenes with him, and he was perfect. You know, um, as for Connor, I always thought we'd have to use a double for the rugby because to find a really good-looking, good actor who's a nice guy who could play the guitar and sing and also play rugby was like, you know, that's a very tr tricky brief. And um, we couldn't find one in Ireland, obviously. But then Nick, who's English and I don't know the Irish people in the audience, I think he did a great job with his accent. But uh, he's from London, and. Uh, he went on tape and he was fantastic and we cast him before asking the rugby question and then actually Rob said, it was probably worth asking, has he ever played rugby before? And it transpires he was at, in the Harlequins Academy. Harlequins are an amazing team and, you know, it's like it's like finding a college football player who can act and sing and look beautiful and play like guitar mm -hmm. and take direction yeah. and not look for too much money. <laughs> so, yeah, Safe to say the, you'll the be casting pins. him again then, I think. Oh, definitely, yeah. And then everybody else fell into place around it. Like the job with those films is always the, the young, the young actors, you know, because you have to take particular care to make sure that those work. Um, and I've worked with Andrew Scott previously, and with Michael, who plays the headmaster. Um, and uh, Ireland is quite small in terms of the pool of actors, so you generally know these guys a lot of the time. So more often than not, it's a question of just offering them the part and then being happy when they accepted it. So. That's a very humble answer. I think we've got a time for uh, two more questions, right here in the middle. Hi, um, John, what a great, great uh, movie. Um, my question is, having grown up in another school that had a very similar experience with the cheerleading, and we have chants that were at your school that you went to, I remember. My question was, things that I think you chose probably not to include, um, it was refreshing for me as an Irish person not to see like that stereotypical priest, teacher, Christian brother, the ruler, and the, yeah. I mean, partly that's maybe because it's contemporary, but then there were no, even though stuff, like there were characters who behaved badly, there were no like real stereotypical villains. Mm -hmm. So I really liked that, and I just wanted to ask you like the decision making behind that. Well, the religion one is really interesting. I think. Because of the uncomfortable resonances and our, our terrible history, um, the minute you put a priest in, in a film, the comedy runs out the door, you know, and that's just an uncomfortable reality that is um, reflects on, on Ireland in, in, a, in a way that's very disappointing but true, you know. So uh, it was it was always going to be a secular-looking school, even though there are like religious statues and so on. But just that's a decision based on the tone of the film and, and how you want people to feel when they're watching it. Um, and I think you have a responsibility to tell those stories. If you're going to go there, you have to be very truthful and respectful of them. So it just seemed like it wasn't right for this film, purely at the level of tone. Um, and the other, <coughs> the other part of the question, the bullies, I mean, I, I'm always trying to find um, redemptive qualities in people just because I think that's probably the reality in some way. I, I, I don't ever like to sit too high above uh, people in terms of tone. I don't, I don't like to... Uh, my comedy never tends to be black, you know what I mean? It never tends to make too much judgment. So it's just a, a question of tone again, like I'm trying to, what's interesting to me, you know, I find bullies hilarious. Um, like bullying is dreadful, but I find bullies, they're ridiculous, just to be quite funny, you know? And then it's, it's never that hard to pick away at it and see why they are the way they are. And that's interesting to me, you know? So yeah, I suppose just respect for the, the, the smaller characters in a film like this is, is just as important to me, especially if you're trying to create a world, you know. This is essentially a boarding school film, like a closed in world, so I think you have to pay attention to the edges of the frame because that's where the reality lives. Like obviously, the lead characters, you know, your Ned and Connor, those guys, their story will play out and that will all work, but it's the guys, like the guy who plays Weasel, you know, you have to respect his storyline and give him something to, to work towards and to offer, you know, so he's obviously, troubled by the loss of his father and you know that's playing out in a way that's kind of humane and understandable I think so yeah it's an interest I have certainly I, I'm not interested in creating caricature I don't think. Well thank you yeah.
I think that's all we've got time for, sadly. But um, thank you all, and please um, find your ballots that you were handed when you walked in, and make sure you vote on the way out. We have four more days of screenings at the festival, so we'll see you across the street at the Cinepolis tomorrow, I hope. Tonight, though, um, I'm going to Barracuda. <laughs> all right, you're all invited. Yeah, <laughs> until 4.01 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna make the most of your New York trip. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, right, you thank you so much.